faces. <laughs> We've come so far. The good old days. We've come so far. Um, <laughs> still wonderful memes on the internet. I'm not Find me one. Find you one? Oh, that sounds like a challenge for our viewers. Please find Paul a meme worth looking find at. Me, find me a meme worth looking at. If um, I had to choose and get rid of all memes uh, and have a different president, I'd do it. Well, that's so obvious. Yeah. Like, what are you even giving up in this scenario? <laughs> <I know. laughs> Just like this. I gotta out. straighten this out. Learn to compromise, Paul. Um, all my bun situation's not great, viewers, but you know what? That's hubris, and it doesn't matter what my bun situation is. <laughs> so let's just do this. Yeah, go ahead. You can. You can. Uh, uh, one of the folks on Instagram wants to send me some memes. So go ahead, send them to Wonder Fair account. Meredith will pass them on. I will. Uh, orders at wonderfair.com would work, or just look Instagram. Paul at wonderfair.com. Oh yeah, just share them to the Instagram. Right on. Of course. That will. That will. That's a more logical choice. Um, wow. Welcome to another week here well, at the Wonder Fair Home Shopping Network. It's Memes Monday. Just kidding. It's, <laughs> it's, not. it's not. It's not memes. That would be a kind of a fun episode, though, stationary to match a meme. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll let you and Nikita pull that one together. We can try that. I feel like <laughs> most of our products align with the this is fine meme. Yeah. Um, so anyway. Um, happy Monday, Paul. Happy Monday. Um, Monday is one of the more frantic days on the dot, which is why we're a little late here. Um, yeah. But we're getting it taken care of. Thank goodness we have call waiting. Three people would have been very I know. frustrated. It's call waiting. I think I think we're heading towards a future if the Don't success say what you're the success say. keeps building multiple lines. I won't hear it. Yeah, we're I gonna heard, tech, I heard you tech say, update. Like, scoping the times. I think that's what he said. Tech we're update. Gonna we're gonna picture. we're gonna get a uh, several lines. We'll have folks back here answering the phones. But our line spells seven eight five eight five six fair. Fair. We didn't put it up because How... most phones don't have the they don't have the letters anymore. That's correct. On your cell phone, you're probably not even typing in the word fair, but you could be. Yeah. So like how Just are we think. gonna seven eight five eight five six fair? Uh, they call the one number and then it splits it. Oh, you no. just need the one phone Are number. That's serious? how the pros do it. That's why when you call up Verizon tech support, I don't know why I picked Verizon, but you know, don't it's you not know. like there's only one person who answers that phone. <laughs> I never thought about it. <laughs> we okay. just need the one number. Don't worry. Okay. Seventy five eight five six fair for all your stationary needs um, Great. and art supplies and all the other things you sell. Okay. Um, Whew, okay. Monday. Monday. Um, in local news, uh, Taco Zone still teasing us with, uh, I can't believe quote, this to me. so excited for the day we can serve some delicious tacos. We'll be back before you know it. Not true. You will not be back before we know it. We, we will, will know it. Though. We will know it. What if their whole goal is to sneakily reopen before we notice? Because we've been really giving them... <laughs> We're, we're really keeping their toes to the fire, as it were. Uh, excited about Taco Zone reopening at some point. Uh, but you know who didn't reopen? Limestone. They're back with takeout. Um, and we got job. it on Friday night. And it was so exciting. There were 10 cars waiting for takeout when we were there at 8 o'clock on Friday. So Limestone had a big return this weekend. That's great to know. The bellhop situation is huge. I do want to float an idea out. Yeah. I just remembered, I think I have a meeting about this later today, which I'm officially nervous about because I don't have time for a meeting today. Bellhops. All of downtown Lawrence should just be people on skates, bellhop into cars, up and down the road, close the traffic. Mm -hmm. That close, just in case they're nasty. A bunch of bunch of big pizza peels. Big Will pizza we do peels, pizza peel stationary skates. service. Living wages, what? Will we do pizza peel stationary service? Yeah, I would do it if there was roller skates and a giant pizza peel involved. Okay. Well, something to consider. Um, what do y'all cool. think? What do y'all think about closing mass for a while and just having um, folks on roller skates delivering stuff? I guess if mass is closed, can they get in on their car? Well, I think that the parking, because it's free to park, the parking lots would be free. We do want to discourage like lots of gatherings, so it's okay. Like normally, I don't encourage closing mass. It is a necessary artery both for deliveries and for people needing to get into shops quickly. Um, but we don't have a large number of customers downtown now, and that's the way it should be. Mm -hmm. So I think it could be a time 
Well, that would be hard for restaurants doing deliveries out their front doors. Shoot, I guess we can't close mats. But maybe we can section parts of it off. Who knows? What if we're taking just, ideas? Yeah. Say so how do we how do we get people downtown responsibly mm -hmm. to eat food and at a up, restaurant and pick up products? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ideas welcome. Great, uh, great announcements. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. That's that was pretty much all of my announcements. I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't really uh, if anybody else has announcements they want to add to the, either of the chats, let us know. We'll signal boost them. There's mm -hmm. other stuff we missed, which is most of it. Well, I guess I'll announce what I I feel like I've been talking about a lot, but like I really stand Mother's Day. It's maybe my second favorite holiday um, after uh, Christmas. So um, it's coming up. It's less than two weeks away now. So I want people to just have an awareness that. Normally we're here for the last minute shoppers coming in on Saturday before Mother's Day. That's gonna be really challenging this year. So people need to be a little more, like help us help you. Mm -hmm. Be a little more on the ball, please. We're gonna do our best. Just some proactive Mother's Day shopping going right wrap now. Wrap things, we can send them to your mom. We can collaborate with other downtown businesses probably to like do combo gifts. Like just get on the horn with us and we'll figure it out. Cool. Do it for your mom. I feel like moms are having a hard year. I yeah. know everyone's having a hard year, and I know that a lot of families have- The emotional labor this year is off the charts. And you know what? I am I'm. I know there's exceptions to the rule, but statistics say moms do more of that work. Oh, yeah. And I just feel like they're doing at more- least, At least everybody got paid for it this year. There's a government check for everybody. So, hey, you yeah, could, you could say a little bit of emotional labor reward. Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Money can't buy happiness, folks, but you can buy your mom a gift to say how much you care about her. <laughs> I also want to say that I'd like to find a way, if you know a mom who might not be able to receive a gift because of financial hardship, I would love to give moms gifts. So just let Wonderfair know that there's a reason this mom needs financial help getting a gift, and we'll help you get that gift for little or no cost to that mom. That's a promise. There you go. Cause I want moms to get things this year. Um, and they don't have to be moms from the womb, y'all. Just whatever kind of mom has helped you in your life. Um, so I guess I better talk about my Mother's Day gift bowls. For What's today. the gift bowl for today? So, Paul, I first of all, I like to really think is about. There, is there multiple pulls here? I have here? two pulls today because we, of course, Big. missed the weekend. Oh, okay. So you're um, making up for some lost I'm time. I'm making up for one of the lost days. Okay. Uh, and also, I couldn't choose between these two great ideas. So I'm just bringing them both to okay. you. So in this my is how confident Meredith is that there'll be uh, two weeks worth of content here. Is She's throwing down two great Mother's Day gift ideas I never on run, one day. I don't, I'm not going to run out of ideas. All right. Um, see? The contrary. So. Um, my own mother, and I think many of us um, mothers and not, like it's a time when we're very distracted. It's like easy to have small foibles like misplacing something or, you know, like you feel like you're very scattered. This is actually me all the time. So when I choose art supplies and stationery, I like to choose really bright yellows so that when I set them down inevitably somewhere weird, it's easier for my eyes to scan and find it. This has been a problem. I feel like a lot of moms can relate to this, a lot of people. Maybe your bag's very dark and you're digging around in there for your pin. So first up in this pin and um, journal combo set is our brightest fluorescent yellow, yellow Caran d'Ache 849 ballpoint pin. The Caran d'Ache 849 you've probably heard of if you're a pin lover because this is one of the probably top 10 pins that people think is worth having. That's why it's here on a made to last Monday, by the and way. Worth uh, they have huge refills called the Goliath, so they go a long time. Uh, they're really reliable, they're beautifully designed, they're very minimalist, and that one is extremely bright, fluorescent, safety yellow. So uh, I feel like a pin like that's the kind of pin that you carry every day because it's easy to keep track of. Um, and you know what? If you're the mom in your life sets down a lot of things in a lot of cluttered spaces, not always her fault and just let her just let it be cluttered for a minute everybody there's a lot going on maybe you also need a completely perfectly matched muscat green but let's just admit that it's fluoro yellow notebook this is the laconic line that we just got in fountain pen friendly silver gilded edges so it matches the clip on the car and dash what so classy i'm in love with this combo mm -hmm. this is actually what i would pick because um you would have no trouble finding it you slip your pin inside the plastic cover pocket 
you've got your notebook and pen ready to go. You can't lose it. Well, you can, but you know, forgive yourself for that too. It's a hard time. So I love this combo. I don't have it online yet, but I will shortly. Um, I can probably build up to three or four of those, I think. The card suggestion I'm gonna make is probably my favorite Mother's Day poll this year, which is the sapling press card that says, maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's just trying really hard, okay? I know it's a nice pen, isn't it? It's a great pen. So soft uh, click. This card has silver bold text that I feel like matches the aesthetic of the rest of the combo. But you could match it with a different card or just buy the set for yourself without the card because maybe you two are feeling a little scrambled and you need a little help. These tools could help you, I think. I just want to comment on the soft click here. So soft. So soft. Unusually soft. I feel the like clicking mechanism. that's going to be a negative for some people. It like, might be a negative for some it, people. Let's compare clicks with the, for example, Bolograph pin. Oh, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, I'll go and then you okay. go. It's much softer. It's really a soft click, everybody. It's a soft click on the Caron Dash. Um, I know uh, eight, a mom or two. Eight, four, nine. Hmm. I know a mom or two who... Uh, are losing their marbles and even like clicky sounds. Some some folks like those clicking break. sounds and some folks maybe just Will want to put that silent the sweep mechanism in the clock in the kitchen and then they don't notice it. I'll tick, do that. tick, tick, yeah. I'll get that. Okay, uh, here's my second Hello, choice oh, for yeah. a Mother's Day combo gift today. Um, I'll put this up later today, the Karen Dash with the Laconic. Extremely bright yellow so it doesn't get lost. Help your mom out. Next up, I've given this gift to my mother-in-law. So this is road tested and approved. This is the rifle paper clip folio board. What is a clip folio, you ask? Well, it's a clipboard that's also a folder. We have another brand of this, also by Laconic, actually. This one happens to come with a lined notepad inside. It's a little pricier at $26, but um, I gave one of these to my mother-in-law because she has been running around doing lots of both elder care and helping out all the families. So she has all these medical paperwork everywhere she goes. She's going to doctor's offices. It's hard to keep track of everything when you're coming and going. So I thought this would be a good gift for her because she could stash everything inside, have a notebook to take notes, and it would look professional and organized if she has to leave it out on the table. And she actually texted us like a photo of how great it was going. Are you talking about Diane? Yeah. My I'm mom. My mom loved this. Yeah. She not today. She talk. wrote a letter talking about oh, how much right. she it loved letter. it. Is what so she did. So cute. Um, she's a great mom. Uh, I paired it in this combo with another Karen Dash eight forty nine because it's made to last Monday. This is a limited edition, so not that made to last. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. You can't mod these colors. Uh, it's in a really beautiful turquoise body with a magenta click mechanism. Soft click, by the way. So soft. I can barely hear it. Wow. Um, and it has a gold clip, which, by the way, matches the gold clip on the clip folio. Uh, I like it when all of the fixtures match. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, you can yeah. match silver and gold. It's fine. But if you don't have to, why? Why would you? So beautiful combo. It's gonna be online later. I did put the clip folio up because we have three in stock, so people don't have to buy it as a combo. You could just buy the clip folio. I think it's a really a $26, pretty affordable gift. It could ship media mail, I believe. I'm not sure about that one. Probably not. What do they care? We don't know the rules. But um it'd be a simple gift to put in the mail to your mama. Help her out. Help her keep all that stuff organized. All right, those are, oh, I did pull two cards that could match it. This is a beautiful card by um, Seedlings who have those envelopes that are strewn with flower seeds. You can plant the envelope and it grows flowers, amazing. It says, you are amazing, remember that, and it matches the clip folio. Or stay with that bright color zone if your mom's like pop, pop, full of energy. This extremely bright tropical pink with orange hand-painted swirl card says, to the best mama, and just think it's sweet. Also, I like pink. Tropical pink, specifically. So, um, that's a good gift for a mom who's wearing a lot of bright colors. This is kind of a bright story today, overall. And I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. We need some brightness right now. Yeah. Those are my Mother's Day picks. 
would you should do one someday. Uh, yeah, I could do that. That'd be fun. I could do a little pick. Cool. Um, I'm going to try to promise to bring the Father's Day energy as strongly as I'm bringing the Mom's Day. So try to hold me accountable, folks. Maybe by June, I won't, we won't be broadcasting. <laughs> 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 okay. Huh. Well, let's see. Um, got some Mom's Day picks. Should we go next? I got a box for an unboxing, or you got what do you got over here? Well, let's end with these. I did bring okay. other. We've talked about the Karen Dash as a made to last Monday feature. Yeah. So I think we'll close out the episode. Close, I up, brought, close out with a little bit more. I brought a bunch of pins that I think are very classic designs that are reliable today. Mm. To just talk about reliable pins and what makes people love a pin. So we'll close out on that. So, so a little bit more made the last in. Monday coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. It's an unofficial holiday here. Uh, some Mondays were on it. Some other Mondays were not. It's not like Tubular Tuesday. Are we doing Tubular Tuesday tomorrow? I mean, we don't get to choose. Are Tubular we Tuesday of... does you. Okay, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out our schedule for the week. We did have Lee from Leeway Franks mm -hmm. on, uh, which I feel like capped off uh, Tubular Tuesday. How does it get better than that? We really peaked that day. So, whew, yeah, be rough. Um, we will have some more special guests this week, Special though. guests on Friday from incoming cheese charcuterie store pedestrian on Friday. Yeah. I believe our friend Kate Meyer, famous fact checker of wonderfairhomeshopping.com, is going to come in and teach everyone how to make Mayday baskets. I haven't confirmed the date, but I'm thinking maybe Thursday. Yeah, we're coming I up on May. Because I believe May is Friday. We got May coming. Okay, so Mayday basket construction tutorial with Kate Meyer, a uh, fact checker on the Wonder Fair Home Shopping channel. And um, the folks from Pedestrian, downtown's newest business owners, hopefully here uh, later in the week, mm -hmm. Friday. Um, okay, let's do an unboxing then. Gosh, I wish your mom could come on. That'd be so cute. I'm just gonna be thinking about that now. Okay. All right, do you need more space? I don't think so. Okay. You know what I do need though is a oh, yes. opener. Oh, there opening it is. friend. Boop. All right. So uh here's our box for the day. Just came in the mail. I Uline, have something to say. Uline, we do not endorse. Don't don't do use it. Uline. Um just Google Uline alternatives. <laughs> Yeah. You found a good website. I out did. There, right? I'm very excited. What's I can the even I can even tell folks about Share it. That. So um we haven't used Uline since 2016 and we will not. Um they're run by people who um excessively control their employees in terms of political suggestion. And their suggestions are always that Trump rules. Trump supporters. Big no time. reason to give them your money. Um yeah. And there's lots of alternatives out there. Frequently really cheaper. Um, frequently cheaper. Frequently cheaper. Uh, and they don't ship you annoying one inch thick catalogs all the time, no matter mm -hmm. how many times you try and get off their mailing list. Yep. Uh, okay, I might have closed the tab, so I'll have to come back. All right, we'll come back to that. Oh, wait, Mary. I did. Cross Corp USA, based in Kansas City. We're oh, going to be switching to them. For some have, bubble mailers. I've been using some great women-owned companies that are in Nashville and California, but of course that's a long distance. So environmentally, if I can find someone closer to us, that's going to be the best for everyone involved. Mm -hmm. So I'll be supporting this Kansas City company coming soon, and I'm very excited. And if you buy things from us, we can guarantee I'm always going to be repurposing materials that have been shipped to us already. Um, trying to buy the most uh, like friendly from the most friendly companies we can. And I'm going to put some bells and whistles on it, especially if you pay five bucks. Mm -hmm. Just that's my point. No, that's, that's just one company, but there's lots of um, spots that have aggregated Uline alternatives online. So if you are doing any shipping, no reason to give them your business, find, and find some alternatives. One other suggestion. If you're buying a lot right now online, which you must be, if you get packaging from Uline from a company you really trust and admire and think they will listen to you, maybe drop an email to their customer service saying, thank you so much. I appreciate all you're doing, but have you considered buying your packaging from someone other than Uline? That would mean a lot to me as a customer. Thanks for your time. Boom. You that'll, can say it nice. that'll make change. They just maybe haven't thought about it. Yeah, they definitely haven't. Or they have and have been too lazy to make a change, which totally happens. People are busy, but. So if any of y'all do that and have Little success, changes. we'd love to hear about it. 
All right. So despite the unfortunate packaging, which maybe we should email Stay Home Club about. Um, They're in Canada. <laughs> I don't know their situation. Yeah. We've got a packing slip here. Uh, this is from Stay Home Club, which has been a brand we've carried for a long time, but has never felt more of the moment than now. I'm so happy for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I met, what's her name? Olivia. I met Olivia, who's the... Olivia Mew, like Olivia a cat. Olivia Mew, like a cat, uh, head of Stay Home Club, really loves emo music. I met her at Riot Fest in Chicago because she was so excited to see Jawbreaker, but she's always there tabling, which I think is cool that she has this great brand and will show up tabling at the punk rock show every year. She's done a lot of collaborating with other emo artists like Dashboard Confessional and Cursive. And American Football. American Football. Uh, so kudos to her for just living her um, emo dream. Living her truth. Also creating such wonderful um, products here. So let's get started. Uh, got a crinkly got bag a, action coming A lot of crinkly you. bag action. We got to get, I, I ordered some of the classics this time. Mm. Some stuff that we maybe haven't stocked in a while. Um, maybe you want to get up there and be doing some of these uh, product would, features I would, I would here. Yeah. Yeah. Just grab, grab and go. Got it. Okay. Get into these. I'll come back for this. We'll come back. We'll get, get All things right, going. I'm ready. First up, we've got the original, the classic, doesn't get any more classic, Stay Home Club logo um, with the, the kitty cats. Um, that's their original logo, I believe. Surrounded by four cats. Stay home club. Um, I'm a beginner at hand acting. Yeah, you might. I like to try and refocus it by tapping the screen sometimes. All right. Uh, what's, did you grab one of the uh, Staying Alive Solitudes? Okay, yeah. Staying Alive is next. Okay, that's what we're all doing here. Staying Alive. Keeping other folks alive, so you can sport that little flower, or you can just revel in the solitude um, right there. These are all enamel pins, by the way. Um, a mix of hard enamel and soft, soft enamel on the Stay Home Club one, hard enamel on the other two. Um, okay, gonna have a lot of similar. Maybe we should just show the big ones. <laughs> because <laughs> they're easier to see. Yeah. That's it, big. It's a patch. It's a different vibe, though. That's a patch, solitude. Mm -hmm. um, so this is particularly exciting. Paul, tell the folks at home why this solitude patch is so exciting. Oh, it's the um, chenille. More uh, than that. Uh, what does the back say? It says adhesive, can be ironed or wow. sewn on for extra hold. Or, yo, you just stick it on your laptop. What? There's no reason not to have a fuzzy adhesive patch on the oh, laptop. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Bam. I didn't realize that they could do that. Is that a new thing? It's a new thing. I'm very excited. I think I'm actually going to go for it. Wow. Because uh, I do love solitude. Ooh. It's no offense to y'all. I just, uh, I like it quite. So slap that slap. fuzzy chenille solitude sticker right on the old laptop. Yeah, probably not your water bottle because you're going to be washing your water bottle. But if you're washing your laptop, you're doing it wrong. So yeah, don't wash the laptop. Don't wash your laptop. I mean, maybe gently with like a microfiber cloth. But anyway, I'm excited about that development. There have been sticky stick sticky patches for a while. Mocha Yobi was one of the first brands to make them. But uh, this is the first foray Stay Home Club is made into the sticky back patch, and I'm here for it. Of course, you can make any patch into a sticky back patch, folks. Just call and ask us, but what you're mainly going to want is polyvinyl acrylic glue, which is reversible um, with water. So if you want to just paste up the back of a patch and stick it on your laptop, you will be able to get in there with like a little um, wet cloth action and remove it later. Did you know that? Fun fact. No, I had no idea. Any patch can be a sticky back patch, but it's easier if it comes that way. Um, this is great news. DIY. Love so it. Love these. What a great new feature. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Um, I got some new stickers from them <gasps> as well. Too cute. Um, oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I know, I know. Save that one for last. Okay. <laughs> okay, so first up, we got the classic A-frame. 
stay home. This one we've had in the shop. I think we were running low, so I'm, I probably restocked it. Love it. Ooh, that's what you need. Send it to all your friends. It's I ordered an American football inspired designs is that right? for all you email fans. I, I ordered like 30 of those. You can buy them all if you want and send it to everybody you know. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> here's the pennant version. This is brand new. Stay home club. Uh, or No, sorry. This one says just stay home. Yep. Um, little pennant. So you can award your friends who've done a good job at social distancing with the pennant. But also don't shame your friends who for all kinds of reasons might have mm -hmm. to leave their home for work or yeah. to do basic necessities for their lives. I just want to put that plug Thanks. in. Thanks. Good job. Yep. Not, got another stay, stay home. See, I really dug in on the theme here. Dug into the theme. I mean, why not, right? I didn't give you one, but we also have the classic logo here as a three inch vinyl sticker. These are vinyl. You can put them on your water bottle. You can um, put them on your car. Mm -hmm. You can. I'm putting this one right on my forehead. All right. There you go. This is a brand new one. Bye forever. It's a levitating home. <laughs> Uh, that's great. Maybe I should got that one on a t-shirt, huh? <gasps> I don't it know. I don't. I don't know if they had it on a t-shirt. Oh, I'm God. trying to trying to remember right now. Uh, yeah, it feels good, right? So good. Okay, bye forever. These are all, all these not online yet because we're just opening the box, but we're gonna do our darndest to really get these up online in the next day or two. Cute box. Three dollars a piece on the vinyl stickers. The patches are usually like eight, eight or nine, eight dollars. Same for the pins. The I big think patches with the sticky back might be more. Yeah, these I might be know. a little more. Well, uh, oh, I got this invoice right here. Let's oh, see. Oh, how convenient. Hmm. Solitude. Hmm. Solitude patch. It'll be ten dollars. What it looks like. So Ooh. there you go. A uh, um, couple more things in here, though. This is for the real, real big spender. Wow. I just. It's cute. Let's go big. Why not? Right? I feel like, where are you going to go with this right now? Where are you going to go with it? Um, You're going to go to the supermarket. But it says not to. <laughs> you're you're going to go and I you're going to get all your. I know I too literally, but the stay home like <laughs> vibe is good and true, but also we understand that you may need to go to the grocery store and yeah. prefer not to have an underpaid worker deliver every possible thing to you one at a time. And that's fine. So you're going to get out there to the grocery store. This is a heavy, heavy duty uh, canvas uh, shopping bag. It's really nice. It's very it's nice. It's very big. It could have fit everything in this box inside this one bag. Oh, wow. Um, it's gusseted with, I would say that's a six inch gusset. Six inch gusset on this. Oh yeah, beautiful. Hmm. You, uh, can look at this. you can absolutely see the fit, gusset. I believe, Paul, that a case of LaCroix is gonna fit right in the bottom of that uh, bag. No stretch. No stretch. You could actually probably stack three cases of LaCroix in here. Whoa. Is my guess if we're measuring by cases of LaCroix. I mean, she's from Canada, so I feel like that's probably how they measure things there. Yeah. We have our own system of measurements, so why can't they? <laughs> the, we we missed the going metric, and in the midst of that, uh, Canada went Lacroix yep. in terms of measuring. Yep. So that ju that just about concludes the stay home club bag pins, so patches, good. stickers, and an overly large gusseted canvas tote. That'll come in at just about like twenty nine, thirty dollars or so. Um, we'll get. Pretty much all of this up online in the next couple days, I think. Plus, it came with the opportunity for me to get kind of preachy about you one. Yeah, always. Which I always enjoy. Always a good time. Um, should I move? Ones. Should I move this away? Uh, I mean, it's you know, not necessarily. You could probably work around it. Yes, yes, I want. Yeah, yes, the answer is yes. Yeah. Great. Well. I feel like my coffee is gone. It's true. The coffee is gone. I'm mm. sad about it. Unfortunate. Ooh. Oh my. Who could it be? Hello. I honestly I'm don't Brad know. from Mark Schuler's. I oh. believe you have a pass one right here. Great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Have a good day. How charming is that, viewers at home? 
Wonder Fair is um, something of a drop zone for packages that arrive downtown in the morning for people on our block because we're in quite a bit earlier than most businesses. So we get to like see from afar a lot of other business people every day, and it's always charming. Yep, get to check in with all the other retailers. See how, see how they're how it's feeling. Going. Not right now, though, because we're busy. We're too busy to talk to. Yeah. Guy from Marks. Uh, if I were to talk to them, I'd just explain to them that their business is so beautiful and I love their facade, which is black marble. Wow. Yeah. If you mm. haven't let's been talk on facades downtown, downtown. There's a lot of great facades downtown. I think that they're probably the most beautiful one. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh wow. Thank hello. you. Hello, thank you very much. Sorry, Sam. Last name. More. More. Thank you. Thank you very much. This friendly live delivery. DHL person has brought us a live unboxing that I'm very excited about. Paul, are you ready? Fresh for this? off the truck. Let's see what we got here. I have no idea what it is. Well. Do I have an idea? Nope. Do you? Oh. It's so many beautiful giant pom poms. I'm about to wrap at a level you've never seen. Uh, I ordered these through Etsy because there's lots of artists still working on Etsy who like work in their cute home studios, just churning out pom-poms. We will eventually have very expensive artisanal pom-poms made by local staff, but to be quite frank, I'm only charging $5 per wrapping job, so I can't actually, that's not something like- That unless, would be our whole margin. That would be the whole margin. Artisanal pom-poms. Our, our staff aren't set up to crank out pom-poms at the rate that some of these pom-pom only artists are. Um, so it's just a matter of scale, folks. For your $5 wrapping, it will not be the same level of pom-pom, but it will be a very beautiful pom-pom. Scope these out. So cute, tri-color. Those are sick. <gasps> I'm dying. And I got a bunch of fun colors that are gonna coordinate with all of my beautiful wrapping papers. I'm just really excited about pom-poms. Yeah, pom -poms. this is great. This, is, this is real behind the scenes. This is not the normal kind of unboxing video. You're looking at our materials here, our raw materials. I had to cut a pom-pom off of one of our store displays today to wrap a present for Drew, which I did really beautifully, by the way. Now I have my own pom-poms. I should have just waited. The pom-pom was falling off the cactus for a long time. Anyway. This is so exciting. All right. I will make squishy sounds for you all while I remove my pom-poms from the scene. Oh man, I might have overdone it. I've only wrapped like 20 presents so far and I believe I ordered enough pom-poms for 200 more. So don't, don't worry about it. Just gonna move these. Okay. Wow. What a great mail day, everybody. Well, Paul has been pulled away to assist a customer, which, believe it or not, is still our primary function here at Wonder Fair Home Shopping Network. Um, so while he chats with them, let me just get a vibe. He's going to have them call back. So I will start showcasing... Let's all take a, actually a pause. Let's take a mindful pause, everyone, while we switch gears to talking about made to last Monday again. Good. Have you done the mindful pause much lately? It's a 30 second or less pause as much as you need where you just kind of slow down your brain. I enjoy it. So. Made to last Monday, rolling in hot. So I brought a selection of pins we sell in the shop that are not necessarily online yet because we sell hundreds, maybe thousands. Hundreds. I wonder how many pins are in the store right now. It's a lot. I guess it depends on if you go by color because for example, we sell like 30 varieties of jelly roll pin and 20 something microns. So anyway, it's hundreds at least. Um, but amongst all of those which are not online, there are a lot that have very classic styling that I feel like fits in the made to last category. So I just wanted to talk about beautiful pins for a moment. Let's start with Caron Dash because that's where we began the show with my Mother's Day picks. 849? Mm-hmm. The 849 with the Goliath refill. 
Again, we have some limited edition colorways, so not so made to last, but extremely beautiful. And uh, Carandash um, is, of course, a Swiss company. These are exhibiting some classy Swiss design. They have that hexagonal barrel. The clips all follow sort of a diagonal line that I think is really beautiful. And uh, the clip is very strong. It's not gonna snap and break off like many plastic manufactured pens because everything on the current dash is made of metal and then enamel coated. And uh, did I read a bunch of extra reviews to get really prepared for Made to Last Monday? No, I didn't do that. Not today. All I'm gonna tell you is I think it's a good pen. It's just hard to focus on these. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, just know that they're very beautiful and we have them in a bunch of colors. So if you're looking for um, a pin at a good price point, I think these are around $25. Sounds right. Um, so at $25, it's a pin that's made to last, including the refill, which will go a, almost twice as long as an average refill. It's simply larger. Um, I'd show you, but the focus would be trash. So why bother? Um, I, <laughs> I really I love show you with words. Normally I'm the yellow pen, but here the I'm the orange. Um, this is the fluorescent orange. They did a whole fluorescent line. We have fluorescent yellow, orange, and pink. Uh, so if you are one of those lose everything on your desk people, maybe look into the fluorescence. The classic yellow, like a pencil, is very tasteful. I really enjoy this fruit punch pink with a magenta clip and a rose gold clicker. Soft click, by the way. I can barely hear it. It's so nice. <laughs> um, $24. I price checked it. $24. You save a dollar. What a bargain. Um, so I recommend that. We may or may not have the refills right now. I don't know. But we'll work on having more refills when we return to our regularly scheduled brick and mortar shop. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, another um, classic line from history, like I said, the 849 has been kicking for decades with little to no design changes because they just don't need them. A you similar, did it right the first time. If you do Back right in the, the first 60s, time, probably. You're done. So the Bolograph is another company based out of Sweden, I believe. Yeah. Uh, cute. Uh, so Bolograph is the kind of pen like, um, like we think of like a Bic stick as a standard click pen. The Bolograph would be the equivalent in many European countries to our Bic pens. Uh, and it's just a very simple, but loud, loud click. I would say average. Average. You're right. Well, I don't know. It's very satisfying click. I will say a lot of resistance on the other Loud throat. click is an Oto needlepoint horizon. Oh, okay. That's true. It has a little rattle after you click. Um, they're beautifully designed, but they're very simple. They have a little bit of a hexagonal barrel, but then a totally rounded grip. So you don't have to grip on any hard lines, which is very comfortable. And they're straight up cheap. I think these are like a $5 pen, something like that. Mm. They are plastic bodied, however. So a little less durable than a car on dash, especially if you leave it in the sunlight, which is the sunlight gives us life, but it gives death to plastics. It's a whole thing. It's like a science. So uh, we have them in a beautiful cream color and a very nice dusty rose pink. Mm. There are many other colors, but I had to pick and choose because I had to buy them in a large quantity. This is technically called the Epoca from the Bolograph line. Mm -hmm. And um, $6. $6. Ooh, I really uh, took a dollar from that one. Dollar. It's um, all good. Cool. Uh, None of these last. are online, by the way. No, just I'm just having us. fun with my favorite Yeah, we're just pens. showing off stuff you can't buy on the a internet. A few of my favorite pens yeah. by Meredith. Uh, this is one of my sleeper favorite pens. Sleeper because people don't know it's here to love. Mm. And if they only knew, I'd be out of them. I might actually be almost out of them now. You should maybe look. So this Sarasa? is a limited edition, classic, old school Sarasa. The Zebra Sarasa is a pin we recommend all the time, especially to lefties, because it has a very fine line and it's very dry upon contact with the paper. So it's not going to be a super smudgy pin, which many people look for in a pin. It also comes in a huge range of beautiful colors. But did you know that this kind of recent limited edition line of the old school classic colors, the color of the ink matches the pin body. So this is a caramel orangey brown color that I just love. It's a little bit more brown than a yellow ochre. It has a creamy clip with gold um, Sarasa text on it. So it's a little bit classier. And it writes with sepia ink. Wow. I know. It's so nice. Um, they're called the Vintage Line, I guess. So yeah. this is called Camel Yellow. It says I have five in stock. That's probably not accurate. But um, if I were me, I would have bought a bunch of these and stashed them. And I did that. So No. Are um, they all gone? No, no. There's okay. more. I pulled them out of inventory a while ago because it's a hard to find a good sepia colored ink pen. 
Um, this is actually closer to a yellow ochre ink, so it's a little brighter brown, and I think it's just really beautiful. Um, and it's cheap. It's, uh, what is it, $3? $3. What a bargain. Um, so Paul's going to show off that nice writing. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Look at that. Paul's going to show you focused. some blurry writing. There you go. That's Perhaps in one month, the tech update will be, we figured out how to have a close-up camera. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. Um, our investment, as much as we're here for everyone on the internet, our investment is in our community and our brick and mortar shops. So Still. we're just always going to keep cranking toward that happy eventuality as much as we'll enjoy our time here in the short term. Right? You don't think this program will continue after everybody goes back to shopping in, in, the, in the meat world? The noon hour is very busy in our brick and mortar shop. It's true. Shop. Maybe, it we'll, be, maybe we'll bump it up to <laughs> 9 a.m. It would be bananas to try to do a show with customers. I really need a haircut. You do. Look it's at cute. all this. Okay. You're not, you're not alone in your, in alone. your main. Um, we could get into buns for you. Yeah, maybe. Cool. He said maybe, folks. Mark it down. Tomorrow, Paul's going to have a bun. I'm calling it. Uh, other cute pins that are affordable. We talk about the Rays a lot on the program. Hottest pen. Uh, the Oto Rays, also under $6? $4.50. $4.50. What a bargain. Best um, value. It's half plastic, half metal. And uh, so, you know, it's got a little bit of durability going for it. It's merely plastic on the bottom half, which is resonant of the classic. What's it called? Bit click stick. The bit click stick. Okay. Classic. Wow. Mid-century pen design. Those are sounds you can put together. Yeah. Bit click stick. Anyway. Uh, do that click. Okay. Pretty loud. Test. That's louder than the. Bolograph V rays. Go rays. Oh, that's louder. Louder. Nailed it. It's louder. Um, okay, so if you're looking for the loudest clicking pin amongst our current variety, it's going to be the Bolograph, <laughs> followed by the Rays, and then, of course, the Soft Click Car and Dash, really coming in low decibels for your eardrums in your current life. So the Rays is really affordable at $450, and it has a great refill, which incidentally also fits in other pins, but the Rays refill is a gel hybrid ink that dries very flat, fast. It's called the Flash Dry. So, mm, and they're not that. lying about it. So it's great for lefties too. So that's a small selection of some of our extremely classy, classic looking pins that I feel like appear as though they could come from almost any era because their design stands the test of time. Made to last Monday, you know what I'm saying? Last but not least. Oh, I guess, am I gonna? No. We'll feature that another day. Last but not least for made to last, I feel like when people see this pin in the store, they instantly think like, A, it's beautiful, and it is, and B, it's timeless. It comes, the design has been unchanged again for decades. It's going to be the Coeco Sport, which comes in both a fountain pin, and this is a useless view. You cannot see any of its details, but it's an octagonal shaped pocket pin that screws open, flips around, and then is long enough to use as a pin. Uh, it's got really classic mid-century styling, and what's up with you? Are you about to decibel test I want to. Yeah, I, I just downloaded an app so I could decibel test the pen, click pens. Okay, well, I will, <laughs> I'm more excited, I'm, I'm excited about Kuwaiko Sports, and I think they're great, but I really want to know the science on these click pens, so let's do it. Okay. Should I go pick Sorry another to interrupt. couple of clicky pens? If you want. All right. Let me think about a pen I can think of that would be, I'm kind of curious about the Sino, so I'm going to go grab that. You can start the decibel test. I'll be right back. Okay. Seeing what the ambient level is here. Let me be real quiet for a sec. That that jumped up from 30 to 65 on the uh, Balograph. Just going to take some notes here. It's a pretty quick um, click, so. That went up to 60. Glad you guys are here for our um, pen clicking decibel test uh, live on Wonder Fair Home Shopping today.
57. That's louder than I thought. Say it's averaging 55. Do another. Um... Uh oh, I had too much fun picking pin options. Wow. <laughs> um, All right. Okay, so you got to be real quiet here. Where you at? Okay. How riveting must this be for viewers when we're just silent for many moments at a time? I hope they're invested in this quick test. I feel like that's coming in around 60. Yo, I'm nervous because I didn't realize how long each test was gonna take, so I brought a bunch of pins and it's really taking a I'm just while trying to get an time. average here. So uh, currently we've got the ballograph, which we knew going in was the loudest we had up here at 65 decibels, followed by the rays at 60 and the Karen dash at 55. So a big 10 decibel difference between these three pens. All right, well, here I have the um, Pentel Inner Gel, which is a popular favorite of office people. Um, cool, are you ready? Um, Ryan Shank chimes in with a fact check. Decibels are logarithmic scale. So um, uh, what was it? He says a um, a 10 decibel difference, 60 versus 50, is actually 10 times louder. That's a lot. Kind of kind of bonkers uh, what, what we're dealing with there. I didn't know that. Thanks, Ryan. That's really cool, Ryan. Good science fact check. All right, here we go with the 0.7 Pentel Intergel. That's also coming in at 65, so about the same as the bolograph. Uh, I just want to say I believe we've contributed to science, which probably already on the internet because everything is, that a click pen is usually about 60 decibels. Okay, the Pilot G2, another extremely popular everyday desk pen. This pen is loud as hell. So loud, it's coming in at like 75. Wow. Did y'all know who are G2 lovers that you're just blasting your eardrums with clicks all day long? Wow. Yeah, consistently over 70. That's a loud one. So people who love the G2 will also often love the Uniball Sino. So I brought two versions of the Sino. Uh, the US version and, oh okay. Knock at the door the US version and the Japanese version that's a little more um, streamlined and aesthetically pleasing. Also clocking in around 70 on the Sino, these cheaper plastic pens are definitely resonating louder sound. Here's the um, streamlined Sino. Seventy-seven. Wow, it's the loudest pen so far. Yeah, that one's in the seventy to seventy-five range on average. All right, next up. Oh, should I be writing these down? Yes. Thank you for joining us for Science Monday, a completely unscientific test of pin click sounds. Uh, the Sino. We're gonna say 73, all right. Here's the Uniball Jetstream, another great pen for lefties. That was clocking in around 68. 
not so bad. As the plastic level goes up, it seems like so does the sound. That's my observation. All right, now we're gonna move to a higher end pin. This is the Kaweco Sport Click Pin. All right, right around 61 on that. This pin is the Lamy Pico, which is a pocket pin that has a unique um, extension. And I thought it would be fun to test because it's so unusual the way it clicks. It clicks out the entire pin body. So what will that mean for the sound? I don't know. Uh-oh, Paul's got to log back into his phone before I can do this. Very quiet. How do we do? It's like 55, it's quiet. Okay, this is a very quiet click pin that makes almost no sound. So if you're a ninja or someone who's just like very sensitive to sound, maybe the Lamy Pico is the pin O for you. <laughs> Next up, it's the Twisby uh, Precision Ballpoint. It's all metal. What will happen? Lay your bets. Paul's logging back into his phone. Quiet, 55. 55. That didn't seem as quiet as this. That one has the high decibel like squeak, and this is very low. So it's the tone on that one that's winning for the precision. Okay, we're coming into the end of our test. Sorry, everyone. I didn't know I was going to get so into decibel testing pins, but it's the Oto Horizon uh, standard, my favorite, with a knock mechanism. Interestingly, very quiet on the click down, but when you release the knock, it's just knocking on it's your the ear loudest. It's That's the, the loudest. It's thing the loudest thing. I saw us hit over 80. I saw a 97. <laughs> um, okay, next up, the Horizon uh, gel version. Sixty-five to seventy-five, so All probably right, about seventy. Average. I've saved for last the Baron Fig Squire, which I believe might be cheating because it's technically not a click pin. You twist the end, but you can mm. do it one-handed. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. Dave is messing up art. Dave, don't you care about science? Dave is ruining the experiment now. He's chomping paper. on paper. This is why scientists don't keep lab caps. <laughs> well, I don't. We didn't get an accurate reading there, but we should review our review okay. our uh, notes here. Science is over. What okay. have we discovered? Um, okay, we have discovered. Uh, if you're looking for a quiet pen, God, how do we get out of this? We're all asking ourselves that same question all the time. Don't allow. Stop. No. Got to get out Whoa. of this program. Whoa. Hey, where are you even? Okay, let's proceed and not worry about that problem and just talk it. about quiet pens. Quietest pen we're selling here is probably either the Baron Fig. Squire. Squire. Or for a uh, click is the Pico or mm -hmm. that Karen Dosh that we were like, boy, that's a quiet pen. It's really quiet. So quiet. Yeah. Uh, the loudest pen we've got for the click looks to be maybe that Sino. Yep. Or the Horizon. Or the Pilot G2. Yeah. Well, the release on the right. Oto Needlepoint Horizon is extreme. Uh, G2 versus Sino. Sounds like the G2 G2 to is me. quite loud. G2 is pretty loud. So if you've been using the G2 and thinking to yourself, that pin click is making me nuts and I'm not projecting because it's the world making me nuts. It's really just the pin. It's just the pin's fault. You can solve it. 
And then the loudest thing we tested today is easily the release on the Oto needlepoint horizon. The click comes in around 60, pretty average, but the release. Wow. I got to say, that's part of why I like the pin is when you release it, it feels really final and it's like fun to fiddle with. It's a fun fiddling pin. Mm -hmm. So uh, that checks out for me. Um, but I also love that the cron dash soft click lived up to its name. Um, this was not very good science. Is this but called a was, soft click? I thought you just, I assumed you didn't make that up, but you just no. observed it was a soft just as click? observed. Oh, interesting. I just assumed that was such a good marketing point that it's, they were telling you it was soft. <laughs> no, I just noticed today. That seems like something but they could market it. would be into. Like, we, the Karen Dash, we, soft we, click. We, 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 soft. Doesn't that feel like a Karen Dash ad? Maybe. I don't know. I've never seen an ad yeah. for Dash. Anyway, I had a lot of fun clicking pens with everyone. It was pretty weird and probably not appropriate for <laughs> a live broadcast, but we did it anyway. Yeah. Hopefully you got something out of it. At the very least, we now can recommend quiet clicked pens to our customers and loud click pens to our customers. So we learned something um, through some very quick and dirty and almost science. I also learned two other things. First of all, that decibels are on a logarithmic scale and also what Thanks, logarithmic Shank, means. Science, science fact checker. And also what logarithmic means. There you go. Because I didn't know that before. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty normal stuff. It is, but I was an <laughs> art history student and we did not learn about <laughs> logarithmic anything. Maybe others did, but I didn't. Yeah. I don't remember at what point in high I can school tell you, you a lot about what logarithms are. I can tell you a lot about columns right. and what they're what they look like. Great. But I can't tell you about logarithmic scales. But you know what? Which is more important in life? You learn a lot from everything you learn. You you gain, you grow as a person from every bit of knowledge you learn from every field. And it makes you more well-rounded and able to understand others and empathize with them. So you're less of a nightmare, terrible trash person. <laughs> and uh, I learned that on Sesame Street. Because Oscar the Grouch, you know? Like he was just like, he just didn't really have a very wide perspective on the world. Yeah, not a lot of empathy. No, he just wanted original people trash to leave person. his trash alone. The original trash person, Oscar the Grouch. So. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on the Wonder Fair Home Shopping channel. We will be back tomorrow at noon. It's Tubular Tuesday. Maybe we'll find something tubular to show you. We'll see. Until then, 785-856-FAIR if you've got letters on your phone. Otherwise, 3247 um we'll be around all day today we'll be out on deliveries uh tonight um the website for that is wonderfairhomeshopping.com if you'd like to place an online order or visit our virtual haunted bathroom at wonderfairsvirtualhauntedbathroom.com we'll see you again tomorrow thanks so much adieu have a good monday everybody you're gonna be great What a loud pen. <laughs>